Uh, my name is Steve Savard. I'm the sports director at KMOV TV Channel 4. I've been in that position for the past 11 years, give or take a couple of months. And I'm also the radio play by play voice of the St. Louis Rams. I've been in that position for five seasons. Um, I am a Parkway educated guy and proud of it. Kindergarten through 12, Mason Ridge Elementary, Ross Elementary, Parkway North Junior High, and Parkway North Senior High. I'm dating myself by saying Parkway North Junior High these days. Um, can't say enough about the education I got in Parkway. I uh, actually considered uh, attending private school for high school, um, took the tests and all that, but I'm delighted with my decision to stay at, at Parkway for a number of reasons. Um, first and foremost at the time because the re relationships I had developed and the friendships I had developed. Also because I think Parkway did a great job, and I mean this, of preparing me for life beyond high school, specifically at the collegiate level, both uh, academically and athletically. I was fortunate enough to get a uh, football scholarship to Northwest Missouri State University in Maryville, Missouri. And um, my coaches in high school, Coach Dobb in football, Coach Robin in baseball, prepared me very, very well for the next step in athletics. And I can tell you, academically, I was really well prepared. I can tell you this, my first year at Northwest Missouri State as a freshman uh, was a lot easier than my senior year at Parkway North on Fifi Road. I had two or three classes, honors classes, had a heavy workload and it paid off. I think I entered college with um, nine hours of credit just based on my high school work. And so there's no question my education at Parkway and specifically at North Senior High prepared me for college. I uh, was fortunate enough to have a nice career in football. Uh, got my way to, made my way to the NFL, which was my dream since I was about seven, eight years old. Uh, it didn't last as long as I wanted it to. My second year, I suffered a pretty serious neck injury, and that kind of finished me off, even though I took some physicals for other teams, but nobody would advise me to play anymore. So it was time for me to make my living with my head rather than my body. And again, I fall back on my education. Without the education, both in high school and college, I don't know what I'd be doing here today, but uh, the next best thing to play in sports is getting paid to talk about sports. And I have two jobs that allow me to do that. Um, after football was done, I... Uh, supplemented my education. I had a degree in journalism and English and I thought I'd be a sports writer. I wasn't thrilled with the offers I was getting at the time. So I suppl supplemented my uh, education by going to the Broadcast Center here in St. Louis. Long story short, first job was in Billings, Montana in 1989. Now, for those that actually have real, true athletic careers in the pros, they don't start in Billings, Montana. They start the network. So I paid my dues. Uh, eight months in Billings, Montana, moved around a little bit, couple years in El Paso, Texas. Another year in Hartford, Connecticut, before I had the good fortune of finding my way back home to St. Louis in uh, May of 1994, January of 1994. So uh, I'm back home, uh, enjoy what I do, very blessed. Um, I have two stepsons that in the past did attend Parkway School District and both had great experiences. They're now in private schools. Uh, they made the decision to do that, the decision I didn't make, but they're very happy. Um, I can't say enough good things about not only the Parkway School District and the friends and the coaches I had, but what a great bunch of teachers I had as well. And, and again, the proof is in, in how well I was prepared when I went off to a four-year university. You know, I, I know kids, kids hear this all the time and they get drilled, just hit over the head with it about staying in school and getting your education, but I think I'm an example of it. I mean, I had a dream growing up and it was centered on, ath on athletics and it was getting to the NFL specifically, and while I did that, a funny thing happened on the way to the Hall of Fame, the NFL Hall of Fame, and me being able to retire after 15 years in the NFL, I got hurt, my dream was blown up early, but I had an education to fall back on, and that's the key. And if I didn't have that, I don't know what I'd be doing for the past 15 years. So I know kids hear it all the time, but experience is a great teacher, and I'm sitting here telling you at 40 plus years of age, if I didn't have my education and going back to Parkway School District and my university degree, I don't know what I'd be doing right now.